Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to do a 4-in-1 with NVIDIA. How to show or hide your display GPU activity icon. How to show or hide the NVIDIA control panel in both the context menu or system tray. And finally, how to find a missing NVIDIA control panel. Let me cover this real quick just in case you don't have the NVIDIA control panel. You need to have the correct driver. This is an ongoing problem and it's really, really simple. NVIDIA defaults at this time to the DCH driver. You need to have the standard driver. There's two choices. So here's the links here. I'll provide the link in the video with a little eye up here to go to this page and get the right driver if you don't have it. If you already have the DCH driver, you can download the NVIDIA control panel from the Microsoft Store. So that's how to solve a missing NVIDIA control panel. Nice and easy. All right. Let's do show or hide the NVIDIA control panel in the context menu and system tray. Obviously, you're going to need the NVIDIA control panel. So let's do start. And you can go right down here to NVIDIA control panel. Come on, work with me right there. If you don't have that, you can check with the Windows key plus S, start typing in NVIDIA, and it should show up there. Takes a minute to load. Okay. So everything we need for the last few things is right here under desktop. Boom. Add the desktop context menu. Go ahead and click it. And you can right click, and there it is. Once again, click it and it's gone cool all right next up piece of cake is show notification tray icon a lot of people don't like to have it down here so watch right here as I click it there it is now you can get at it all the time it doesn't tend to use too much memory that's up to you but people tend to love or hate it boom finally not a big fan but if you want to play around with a GPU activity icon you can click that and as you can see it's here now, what this tells you is what applications are currently running. As you can see, I have virtual machine running here. And it shows that. Bandicam, because I'm recording. You see Google Chrome. And whatever on earth this is, I'd have to look it up. We don't know everything. What I'd like to see with this, it's just nice to know what's running if you're gaming and having difficulties with your frame rate. For example, maybe you could figure out what you could close it. Maybe you didn't know it was running. So that's about all it's handy for. I'd love to see a memory draw or a CPU draw so I knew that maybe something was running in the background I didn't want. But it's it's not the greatest, but if you want to check out your frame rates when you're having difficulties, this might help you figure it out. So you could, your internet might be slow. You could figure out, hey, maybe Chrome's running stuff in the background virtual machine. Maybe it's sucking up my bandwidth. So something along that lines. So once again, you can enable or disable everything right here. So piece of cake so once again if you're missing your control panel follow the guide I will put dot 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 let me see I'll put this up here because this is the most popular people like to use the context menu and system tray and if you need it here is the information for the GPU activity here is how to find your missing NVIDIA control panel and we did mention DCH and standard drivers so we're kind of going down a rabbit hole here with three different guides in one video plus a little information on what these Windows DCH drivers are because I think going forward you're going to see these more and more and more and possibly become the norm. So get yourself familiar if you're a gamer with what a DCH driver is. Well, yeah, there you have it. Bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo pops up. You click on that and you can subscribe. We'd appreciate that and we thank you for watching as always. See ya.